السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How are you, my dear brothers and sisters? I hope you are all well. All praise is to Allah, the Lord of the universe. We can never leave learning about Allah because knowing about Him is the foundation of all knowledge. In this book, we will learn the name of Allah, and it is the most mentioned name in the Quran. Allah, there is no one like Allah, and He is perfect in every way. This makes us always attached to Him. When we look around us, we might see strong or beautiful people, but they are still imperfect. Someone strong might be sick the next day, or someone beautiful changes in their beauty. So we cannot attach to them. Allah shows us that He is perfect, and we only attach to Him. Anyone else is weak, falls sick, or forgets, but Allah is perfect. Allah is the one whom our heart turns to. Sometimes we're scared or sad, or we don't know how to answer a question, or sometimes. We have a nightmare, and our mother is not there, but who is always there? Allah is the one whom our heart turns to, even it's in the middle of the night. Allah is the one whom our heart. Turns to, in the story of Yunus, alayhi salam, he got swallowed by the whale and was inside its belly. Who can take him out? Only Allah. Allah is the one whom our heart turns to. Yunus alayhi salam had no one but Allah. No one could see or hear him except Allah. He made du'a to Allah, and Allah saved him. Allah is the one who is loved dearly. We love our parents, teachers, friends, and good people. But who do we love the most? Allah, because there is no one like Him. Allah is the one who is loved dearly. We also love Islam because it is the Deen of Allah. And we love the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he is our messenger. Allah is the one who is loved dearly. We love Allah and everything from Him. Allah is the one who is magnified. We should not make fun of Allah, or when someone talks about Him, Allah is the one who is magnified. We have to respect Allah and magnify Him because He is so great. Allah is the one whom no one can. Encompass. We cannot surround Allah and everything about Him. For example, when people want to learn about someone, they might search the internet. But we cannot encompass Allah, and we do not give image to Allah. Allah is the one whom no one can un. Compass. 
Allah is always greater than we can ever imagine. Allah is the one who is worthy of worship. Allah is the one whom we worship all of our life. Allah is the one who is worthy of worship. Allah created us so that we know Him and worship Him alone. There is no one like Allah and He is worthy of worship. Allah is the one who is worthy of worship. Some worship idols, the sun, the moon, or numbers. Is this correct? How can we worship something that does not see or hear us? Allah is the one who is worthy of worship. Allah is perfect and we worship him. Allah is the one who is worthy of worship. The name of Allah is a very powerful name. Sometimes we are confused or lost, but when we call on Allah and say, Oh Allah, then it's as if we have called on Him by all His names. Allah is the one who is worthy of worship. The name of Allah includes all the names of Allah. When we believe in Allah, what should we do? When we know Allah, then we will only attach to Him and He will give us the best. When we know Allah, we will not be chained to anyone. We do not fear anyone except Him. When we know Allah, we will love Him the most and worship Him in the best way. We love Allah.